Falcon Crest, eaten by termites, will not be seen at this time. In its place, we present a show guaranteed to wreck any home. Time. Because your mother said so. Uh, mother said? What did she say exactly? Exactly. She said be sure to put the children outside and say good night to the cat. <laughs> good night, cat. Dad, you got it all mixed up. Dad, are you sure she didn't say say good night to the kids and put the cat outside? Positive. She said say good night to the cat and put the children outside. Good night, cat. <laughs> Finally got it right for a change. <laughs> Have fun, children. Oh, Hi. Today's show is about where most people are right now and where we are not. A riddle, Alistair? I hate riddles. Everybody hates riddles. I know. Today's show uh, is about... <laughs> today's show is about home. Home. That is why I want you kids to relax. Pretend this place is your home. You can take off your shoes if you want. No. No. Don't let Alistair take his shoes off. Think of the smell. Matthew, yeah. my feet don't smell. Oh, my socks, maybe. Oh. Not, not my feet. Anyways, Rob, why exactly do you want us to feel at home? I mean, I know there's got to be a reason, and probably a mean one. A mean one? Vanessa, what mean reason could I possibly have? Well, like we don't get paid for being at home, so if we think of the studio as a home, we don't get paid. Something sort of like that. You know, I never would have thought of that reason. But seeing as you came up with it, Vanessa, I think it is perfectly fair. Uh, thanks a lot, Vanessa. Well, so, how are you kids enjoying Bart's home cook? Burgers. Mm. Oh, Bart, they're even worse than usual. What exactly do you mean by home cooked, anyway? I mean that I cooked them burgers before I left home. Oh, so they should be pretty fresh, then? Mm, maybe not too fresh. You see, I left home when I was 14 years old. I ran off to sea, and that's when I made them burgers. Oh, I think I'm feeling homesick. Oh. Uh, this here is the boys' bedroom. Oh, look at all the nice things in here. Oh, look at the cute little kitty cat. Oh, Mom, can we please buy this house? Uh, no, this cat is my pet. He doesn't get sold at the house. Oh, but I love it. Hey, listen. Ma'am, you buy the house. We'll throw Owen in the cat. Oh! Hey, Mom, look at this great model airplane. Can we buy the house, Mom? Please! Get your hands on me! Hey, 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 listen. You buy the house. We'll throw in that model airplane. Oh! And look at this great guitar. Ooh. This model railroad. <laughs> Listen, you want them, you got them. I don't <laughs> To pick all the seeds out of a uh, grip. Oh, there we are. That's it. Time to go home and do your homework. <laughs> Sir, hmm? the point seeds. Oh, 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 class, I must have forgotten to tell you. The janitor is sick and tired of you kids taking your chewing gum and shoving it up under the desk, so... He thought you might get the message if he put the gum on your seat. <laughs> but, sir, I want to go home. How do we leave? This is a ripoff. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it certainly <laughs> is a ripoff, Dougie. Nice underwear, My cheeky little thing. Yeah. Ross? Yes? Ross, if we're supposed to 
think of the studio as a home, then are we supposed to think of you as our dad? Dad? Well, yeah. I oh, guess great. So. Can I borrow $30 for some new clothes? Dad, can I have 50 bucks for school supplies? Dad, can I have a pony? Dad, can I have a new bike? A new bike? Dad, can I have a car? Dad, can I have a new 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 car? Now I know why I never had kids of my own. This is great. All the comforts and conveniences of home. Yeah. And one of the inconveniences, too. Oh. oh. Well, here we are, boys. Liver and lima beans, and I want you to eat every single bite. And then... Oh, my goodness. You're just going to have to clean this place up. It is a pigsty. You think you boys were living in the woods. Good old mom. Well, here, raccoon. Uh, Vanessa, you will copy every word in that dictionary five times. Sir, why do I have this attention anyway? Because, Vanessa, you didn't do your housework. Yes, sir, I did every last boring bit of my homework. I didn't say homework, Vanessa. I said housework. Your mother phoned me today, told me you didn't do your housework, and asked if I'd give you a detention. <laughs> Boy, when your principal and your parents get together, what chance has the poor kid got? None. Dougie! Stop bouncing on the bed! <laughs> Dougie! I think I was bouncing on the bed. A lucky guest. <laughs> hey, Doug, how about coming over to my house after the show? Maybe we could have a party or something. Man, I thought you hated me. I don't hate you, Doug. I just think you're a major jerk, that's all. So what's with the invitation? Well, it seems like the appropriate thing to say. I mean, this is the, the introduction, introduction to, to the, the opposites. opposites. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? No, I know this is the opposite, but I don't have to, do I? I think she does. <laughs> Boys, come back here. Dougie, Matthew, why didn't you slam the door? I'm sorry, Mom. Honestly, boys, why can't you slam the door like your father and I do instead of closing it gently all the time? Well, try, Mom. Yeah, I'll gladly do it a couple of times for you. Oh, yeah. it's all right. You head off to school. I'll slam it for you. Bye. 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 Thanks, Mom. Lady, what are you doing? Just because you live in this house, dear, and you eat four good meals a day, and we buy your clothes and give you money, does not mean you have the right to help out. It is not expected, Vanessa. Now, look, let your mother and me look after these chores, and you go out up to your room and listen to your story. And for heaven's sakes, young lady, don't tidy your room. I'll look after that when I get finished with this. No buts. What's up there? Anyways, even though the opposites are over, that offer's still open for you to come around to my house. You could jump in our pool. Really? Yeah, our pool's just made for someone like you. Finn, the opposites are over now. You don't have to be nice to me anymore. Yeah, I know, but our pool is just made for you. Our pool's a set pool. It's full of stuff just like you. <laughs> students going? Well, home, sir. School is over. We're going home. Home. Ah, uh, home. I often wondered what it would be like to go home after school. But, sir, you have a home to go to, don't you? No, no. I don't have a home to go to. I never have. Well, where do you go after school then, sir? I just wait for the janitor to turn my power off, which he should be doing just about now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? The principal's a robot. <laughs> I always knew he couldn't be human. <laughs> oh, Dougie, you know how you're always saying you want a room of your very own? What could be better than a whole house of your very own? Mom, <laughs> well, this isn't what I meant. Got your name over the door. Oh, 
doesn't have a door. You've got your very own monogrammed supper dish. I'm not a dog. No, dear, you're a dog. And there's really only a one-letter difference. Yeah, and what's with the chain? Oh, well, the chain is to stop you from chasing any more cars or, or postmen. Mom, you spoil all my fun! Are you now, this, this, the dungeon, the basement? Uh, now, it, it, it's uh, a few uh, improvements, but it has lots of possibilities. Hey, hey, what's going on here? What is this? Some kind of tour or something? No, no, Alistair. These people are interested in buying the castle to make it their home. <laughs> Does that mean you might let me go then? Uh, well, at least it can't be any worse than you. Oh, is that a real prisoner? Do those chains hold him against the wall? Oh, yeah, they're very strong chains. Oh. They're still on their 100-year warranty. Oh, that means he can't get free? Uh, if I hit him like this, he can't hurt me? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I changed my mind. They are worse than you. Look, lady, you don't want to buy this place. Um, it's rat-infested. Ow! And the ceiling leaks, it's cracks wait, in the wall. Hey. He doesn't want us to sell the dungeon. He's so attacking <laughs> uh, there you are. And, uh, Dougie, here it is. Your Barthes take-home special. <laughs> Enjoy. No, Barthes, you don't understand. Hmm? I'm not going to eat this. Are you serious? You see, I've got rats at home, and I want to put something down that will poison them. I'll poison you, you little rat. No, 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 no. You can do it. I know you can. No, 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 no. And now listen, guys, wait a minute. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough and dirty. But I got faith in you. All right. All right. All right. Boys, what I want you to do is to go out there and clean up. Yeah. 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 Sir, what is this? Well, that's the stuff. You're going to clean up my apartment with. <laughs> Yo! Oh! Hey, Van, can you help me? For my homework assignment, I have to list five different things that are piped into our homes. Oh, and which one have you got so far? Well, I've got gas, electricity, telephone, and cable TV. I just can't seem to think of a fifth. Oh, you can't. Well, I can. It's a very important liquid. Well, what liquid, Van? You're not going to make me say it. You know, it comes through the pipes, it runs hot and cold. Use it to flush your toilets, to drink, to shower under, to swim in, you know. Oh, you mean that liquid, the one that falls from above if you mention it. <laughs> yes, and you didn't think for one minute you could get me to say it now, did you? <laughs> no, Van, you're just too smart for me. <laughs> yeah, but Doug, you're not so smart. And getting you to say water would be so easy. <laughs> Sometimes it's so easy. I'm ashamed of myself. Keep going, man. <laughs> Matthew, it's my shirt, but my bottom darn it! The money of it! Two different shirts. I can't wait. We're finally going home. Yeah. I don't think I could take another day of eating rotten, maggoty food. Yeah, or skinny dipping in a lake where there's leeches <laughs> or being eaten alive by the bugs. Yeah. School isn't even as bad as this. Yeah. Martin's up, campers. I have good news and I have bad news for you. Which will you have first? Um, bad news. Sir. Bad news. Yeah. The bad news is that your school has burned to the ground and will not reopen for some time. <laughs> bad news? That's not bad news. That's great news. No, school has a great piece of bad news, sir. So what's the good news? Yeah, I bet it's something really bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, actually, it really is good news. <laughs> okay, shoot. <laughs> well, so that uh, you two uh, won't uh, be at loose ends until your school mm -hmm. reopens. Your parents have arranged for you to stay here at camp for two more months. Twenty five cents a cup. Only twenty five cents a cup. Oh no, no, young lady, you, you can't set up your business in front of my home. Go on over in front of your own house. But I don't have a house. I live in an apartment. Oh, oh, I, well, okay. I guess maybe I should. Uh, Get a free sample, will Sure. Okay. <laughs> no! Ooh. Don't drink! Ooh. <laughs> 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 
kind of lemonade do you call this? I don't call it any kind of lemonade. I call it soap solution so that the kids can blow bubbles like this. All right, Dougie, for detention, you will copy pages 1 to 7,482 of this dictionary five times. And when you've done that, then you will make your bed, carry out the garbage, and feed the cat. Oh, sir, those are things I do at home. Dougie, this is now your home. Your parents and I have decided that you spend so much time here in detention, you might as well live here. Now, there's your bed over there, and there's a pile of garbage for you to carry out. Oh, and here's a box of cat chunks. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> here's the cat. So, we'd best get right to it, eh? Start copying out that dictionary right now. Lots to do. Come on. Wait, 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 wait Alistair. Will you, will you two guys? Uh, look, hey, wait, wait a second. I was, I was here first. Yeah, you were here first, so you should be finished first. Hey, yeah. the kid is right. Get out of here, Alistair. Well, there are two other bathrooms in this house. Why can't you and Matthew and Doug just go use another bathroom? It's simple mathematics, Alistair. Take away this bathroom, and there are... Two spare bathrooms, right? Well, you've got two women in the house, your mother and your sister. Two women plus two bathrooms equals no spare bathrooms. Now get out of here. i got to shave because i got to... Well, Mom's using both the other bathrooms, so uh, I have to use this one. <laughs> so, Matt, what's the worst thing about living at home? I guess for me, it's having to go to church on Sundays. But then again, I guess that's a small price to pay for all the free food, accommodation, and laundry service I get. Yeah, my parents don't make me go to church. Huh. But they always at home act as though they own the place or something. <laughs> they do own it, Doug. They do? <laughs> oh, no! Well, children, this is it. It is your new home. Oh, what are you doing here? I live here. No, you don't. This is our house now. We just bought it. Oh, yeah, I know. You bought it from my parents and they moved away. Yes, but you were supposed to go with them. Ah, well, you see, I couldn't. I'm grounded for a month and I'm not allowed to leave the house. So I couldn't go with them. Uh, no, you, you can't hang around here. You, you will have to join your parents. Oh, good. Yes, no, but uh, as soon as your month of being grounded is finished... We'll make two. Ready, aim. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop the execution. <laughs> what is it this time? Aren't I entitled to the last request? To be grammatically correct, shouldn't that be, am I not entitled to one last request? Oh, yeah, okay. Am I not entitled to a last request? No. <laughs> Ready, aim. Hey, Vanessa. Yes, Andrea? What time do you have to be home by? Oh, I have to be home hours earlier than all my friends. Well, what time do your friends have to be home by? Well, they have to be home hours earlier than me. <laughs> well, how can that be? Well, Andrea, every kid knows they have to tell their parents that their friends get to stay out later than them. This is one of those rules. <laughs> hey, Alistair. Yes, Mathers. After a date, do you walk your girls home? Mm, yes, unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Isn't it kind of fun? Yeah, but it'd be a lot more fun if I could drive them home. But my mom won't let me have the car. Uh, maybe it's because you're too young to drive, Alistair? Yeah, that's what my mom says. <laughs> hey, Doug. Yes, ma'am? Is your home a happy one? Well, I'd say it's fairly happy. Well, it must be happy now. I mean, you're not there. <laughs> hey, Matthew. Yes, Alistair. Does your dad do a lot to your home? Yeah, he's always doing something to it. It's a wonder it's still standing. <laughs> Ready, aim. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the execution. What is it this time? I, I looked it up, and I'm entitled to a last request. I want to go home. Okay. It's that simple? I, I can just go home? Come back here. I didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, you can go home. Yeah. We send you home. Oh, great. In a box. After we shoot you. Hey, are you yeah. <laughs> Ready, aim. <laughs> yes? Ah, oh, yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am from the Home for Homeless Kids Telephone. You did pledge by phone, didn't you? I certainly did. Uh, Imagine those poor children sleeping uh, in gutters and under bridges. Yes, yes. No one to love them. Yes, 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 yes ma'am. But thanks to wonderful <laughs> folks like you, they'll soon have a roof 
over their little rice and fest- uh, lovely little heads. Uh, you pledged five, did you not? I certainly mm-hmm. did, and I think that five dollars is a contribution. No, 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 ma'am. You don't give me five dollars. You take five. I take five? You said you would take five homeless kids and give them a permanent home, and here they are. Come on, kids. Yes, indeed. Wait, 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 Hey, 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 you kids. Did did you enjoy your uh, nature study day out in the country? Yeah, it was great today, guys. Much better than algebra. I'll be glad to get home, though. My feet are killing me. Well, we're almost home now, but Vanessa. Wait a minute. We are home right now. Home at last. Oh. Hey, guys, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is just a run-down old shack in the middle of nowhere. No yeah. one lives here. Shack? I live here. That's my home. This bus don't go no farther. Stays right here. Look, we're at what? About 15 miles from town. That way, you kids can uh, start walking now. Yeah, have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Come on, move it. Get off my bus. Yeah, burgers and Barthy's special old home fries. Close, Bart. What are these? These are home style potato chips. I told you they're old home style fries. Uh, my old home is full of termites. They're fried termites. Oh. Mom? Yes, Matthew? You know how you've always said that you wish we could have a swimming pool? Yes. And I bet an indoor swimming pool would be much better than an outdoor swimming pool. I mean, we could use it all year round. Wait, don't tell me. You flooded the basement. No, no, no. Why would I flood the basement? I barely ever go down there. <laughs> oh, Matthew. <laughs> oh, dear. What a turn you gave me. For one second there, I thought you'd caused the most awful disaster. <laughs> Honest, Mom. You flood the basement? <laughs> of course I wouldn't flood the basement. I flooded the bathroom. <laughs> Hey, you guys. Hey, 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 hey. I got good news, and I got bad news. The good news is for the viewers, the show is over. And you guys can go home. (laughs) All right, all right. right. How are you going to get there, though? Who knows? The bad news is the bus company is on strike. (laughs) No, my parents are out until late. Well, if I had a car, I could drive you all home, but uh, my mom won't let me have one. I know. I could call my dad. He'll come and get me. <laughs> Doug. Rand. <laughs> you live just around the corner from me. Can I get a lift with you? You know, Ben, after all those names you've called me on this show, I don't know about that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Way to go, Doug. Uh-huh. Like, shut up. Can't Do That on Television has been a homesick production. It sort of makes me sick. So kids that stay at home, too. Hmm? Is that cleaner? This is not what I'm taking about. I know that, Alistair. I can see it perfectly well, dear. Mom, well, now that I'm always mad, don't you think I'm entitled to some privacy? Well, yes, I do, Alistair. Then you wouldn't need to wear that bathing suit in the bathtub all the time. Hey, can, can I have some privacy now, please? Of course, dear. All you have to do is close and lock the bathroom door. Close and, close and lock the door? Is, is that simple? Yes, it is. If you'd like, I'll bring your father up. He can show you how the door works. No, 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 Mom. No, it's okay. I think I, think I can manage. Great. Okay, that's good. Coffee break. Wait a minute, I forgot I was in the studio. 
Uh, Ross, could you please throw me back my bathing suit? Forget it. I'm on a coffee break. <laughs> Ross, wait. Guys, Paul. Get, Frost, <laughs> Save me a donut. <laughs>